Ever wish you had a magic wand to make your patient's pain disappear? Microcurrent stimulation is one of the most researched currents. To date, over 233 peer-reviewed studies have shown that microcurrent is what the body both sends and receives in its control of virtually all repair functions. Microcurrent stimulation is one of the most researched currents. To date, over 233 peer-reviewed studies have shown that microcurrent is what the body both sends and receives in its control of virtually all repair functions. Microcurrent works by attacking pain at its source by promoting cellular repair. Nothing works better or is more complete. Monad developed the technique of working with muscles by stimulating the Golgi tendon organ of the muscle. Nothing works faster or better to tonify or relax a muscle. The Axion Micro 5 has been designed to be a premier electroacupuncture device. Many special features built into it like the ability to scan an area for exactly two seconds, lock on to the highest reading for those who want to measure individual acupuncture points. It also has a meter feedback as well as an audio feedback to let you know when you're on the acupuncture point. And it also has a, a handy button on a probe to initiate treatment. So the ability to locate and treat a point is very accurate and very rapid. The Axion Micro 5 has almost 25 years of experience in performing facial rejuvenation using microcurrent stimulation and the special GTO Micro technique that works individual facial muscles to either tone or relax. We feel no device offers better results and better training than the Axion Micro 5. The durability and portability of the Axion Micro 5 makes it an ideal unit to treat sports injuries both inside and outside the office. It has over a 30-year history of treating athletes at every level of participation from professional to Olympic to weekend warriors. You'll find that the features and ease of operation and the success rate of the Axion Micro 5 makes it the perfect unit to incorporate into your sports injury practice. A popular microcurrent technique is known as frequency specific microcurrent. This is when one channel is set for a particular frequency and a second channel is set for a different frequency. The currents are passed through the area of complaint and the treatment protocol is then delivered through the two channels. The Axion Micro 5 is certified as a frequency-specific microcurrent device.
The energy delivered by a clinical microcurrent stimulator is so small it would take a million machines to power a 40 watt light bulb. But in the case of the human body, less is more. It is exactly this type of small electrical current that runs the body. Several researchers discovered the body develops a current of injury that can interfere with the healing process. It can be the cause of pain, trigger points, and a slowdown of healing. Passing a similar but polar opposite current through the area can reverse the current of injury. All the original research that determined ATP production and cellular repair could be influenced was done with microcurrent electrical nerve stimulation or MENS, not with lasers. No other electrical modality can talk to the body at the cellular level like microcurrent stimulation. But be warned, not all microcurrent stimulators are created equal. Here's what is necessary to be considered a true clinical unit. It must be a constant current generator. Just like the title suggests, your unit must have a circuit that guarantees the current setting is actually being delivered. Many cheap units are constant voltage and that is just not good enough for clinical use. The unit must have plus or minus 60 volts. Skin resistance is about 10,000 ohms. If you are trying to deliver 600 microamps through the skin, you need a unit that has enough available voltage. Some cheap units have 24 volts or even less, which creates quite a problem for the circuit to deliver the desired current. The unit must have a 50% duty cycle and frequencies below 1. A 50% duty cycle means the current is actually on for one half the time. If the Hertz is 1, the current is delivered for one half second. If the Hertz is 0.1, the current is delivered as a direct DC current for 5 seconds. Many cheap units have duty cycles measured in milliseconds rather than seconds. The unit must have an alternating polarity every two and a half seconds. This is Monad's patented tsunami wave. Monad discovered that treating the area for two and a half seconds with a negative pulse enhanced the body's reception of the next positive wave. This discovery was so unique, a U.S. patent was granted. It is absolutely critical that your unit have a current feedback loop. Microcurrent stimulation is subsensory. Your unit must have a feedback loop that shows conductivity and the amount of current actually being delivered. It is absolutely critical that your unit have a current feedback loop. Microcurrent stimulation is subsensory. Your unit must have a feedback loop that shows conductivity and the amount of current actually being delivered. It is absolutely critical that your unit have a current feedback loop. Microcurrent stimulation is subsensory. Your unit must have a feedback loop that shows conductivity and the amount of current actually being Microcurrent delivered. is great for treating acupuncture and trigger points. Your unit should have an accurate meter to locate points and ideally a circuit to show when the point has been treated. I'd like to give you an overview of what a stimulator control panel looks like. Uh, there are those of you who do not use microcurrent stimulators but are interested in learning more about them and I'd like to get you a little bit more familiar with what the front of a device looks like so that when you are ready, you'll be a little bit more comfortable. Now, there are several good clinical devices on the market. They all operate the same electrical parameters, but how you access those are a little bit different from device to device. Some will have knobs and dials. Some, like this device, will have touchpad operation. 
Now we use this device at the National Council because of its ease of operation and its accuracy, which we'll show you a little bit later. This device, you can access uh, factory presets with a one-touch type of operation, and it makes accessing the different treatment protocols very easy. This device is set up so that uh, A is for acute, C is for chronic, E is for ETR, M is a user memory preset, and I is for microcurrent interferential. This device, you can use a single or dual channel operation, or you can pre-program two channels to operate at the same time. It also has probe capabilities, and it starts and stops with a simple one-touch operation. Now, even though this device has factory presets, you can still override those by manually entering in the parameters that you like. So all good clinical devices will have at least two channels of operation, the ability to display the microamps, the frequency, the wave slope, the polarity, and the time all at the same time, and the ability to use factory presets or to override those with manual presets.